watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. We're going to be doing a comparison video today of two 12 OT old timer PALs. One American made and one Chinese made. Now a brief history without getting into a whole lot of detail, it's beyond the scope of the video. Just know that uh, the old timers were made in America up until 2004 and then they were sold multiple times and both of those or all the companies since 2004 produced the knives in China. We're going to be looking at a example made in September of 2020 that by the Battenfield company and again these are produced in China and this one produced in America. Now how do we know which is which and what is what? Well the tank stamp tells us a lot you have carbon blades, first of all, which is Telltale, and then we have the tank stamp says Schrade USA 12OT. So we have a 12 model old timer. Got the single clip point blade, nickel silver bolsters, nickel silver shield with the cigar shape, then brass pins. You've got a saw cut Delrin handle. Same on both sides, just minus the shield on the other side. And uh, in that carbon steel blade, it's just a clip blade. Now this is a used example, I got off of eBay, but looks to be fairly complete. I don't think that there's been much of any way of being the blade being altered, so we can do a fairly decent comparison here. I don't think the blade's been tampered with too much. Now, we get a 3 inch, I'm sorry, 2 and 7 eighths inch handle when it's closed on both knives. I have noticed that the, the newer knife has a slightly longer blade, just a minute difference, maybe about a sixteenth of an inch longer. And of course it's made from 7CR17 Mauve, stainless steel. Tank stamp on it will just have shrade on one side. And then the model number on the other, 12OT. And you can get a good look at the blade edge there. It's original, never been sharpened. Long pull on it. Good snap, no half no half stops on either of these. And I would say that the pull on that's about a six. Nice and snappy. Old one, maybe just slightly more, six and a half. You can look at the font on this one and this one on the shields, and they are a little different. This one has a little more of a brass tinge to it than this one. And uh, both have saw cut Delrin handles, but seems like the plastic has changed. You have a much darker color brown here on the handle with sort of this pinkish color on the outside edges. Sort of a flesh colored brown. And again, the blade lengths are about the same. Again, just a, a little bit longer on the American made one. But the primary differences are going to be on the actual handle shape. You can see that this uh, bolster is slightly higher top to bottom than it is on this one, and a little more elongated. Front bolsters are much closer in appearance. But even still, you have more of a rounded slopes to the edges on the American one. Again, just a little more refinement, as well as the handles themselves, a little more rolled over, and that cap bolster as well. Just a little more refined, a little more rolled edges around the handle. The, uh, the blade shape is pretty close. Looks like there's a little more angular design to the newer one. Again, you do have some probably a little bit of wear on the blade, but um, you can see just the top of the clip here is a little more pronounced than it is on this one. So just a slightly different shape to it, but pretty close, pretty close in shape. And uh, don't know that the blades themselves are that much different in length. I think that maybe the the tang design just might be slightly off, longer on the uh, on the modern knife. This portion here, from here to here, is just a little longer 
than it is over here, but I think the blade itself is pretty close to the same length. If we actually line up the Ricasso, you can see that those do appear to be the same shape. Or, sorry, same size, same length. So, yeah, if we look at the, the newer one, you can see it's just a little more squared off. A little larger up here. Not as round at the top, for sure. You the roundness of the, the top of the knife here. Compare it to that. So it's just a just a less refined knife and uh, just a little more body to it, top to bottom. But overall, both of them are pretty nice little knives and fit really well in the fifth pocket. Very popular little pattern, the, the PAL, great name for a knife as well. Because it is your little PAL when you take it along with you. Used for so many little things. And I've um, always been a huge fan of the smaller old-timer knives, and this is no exception. But uh, price-wise, you're probably going to pay, you know, in the $25, $35 dollar range, depending on the, on the condition of the knife. I think I probably paid about $28 for this one after shipping. So decent price, but you can definitely get nicer ones and pay more. This one was going to vary anywhere from like 18 to 24 depending on when and where you buy it they go on sale frequently so sometimes they can add for around 17 dollars something like that but the pal is a nice little nice little pattern just a very simple single bladed clip and uh, definitely one i would recommend if you're just looking for a small fifth pocket knife does the job pretty well but uh, that's going to do it for my comparison video, guys. Uh, what do you think? Uh, is there a big enough difference to go and seek out an American one just for the carbon blade and maybe a little more refinement and the USA Tang stamp? Or pay that $35 or $30, whatever it might be, that you get off of eBay or just get one that's about half the price? Let me know what you think. That's going to do it for my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button, thumbs up, so that everyone can see this video. More and more people get their eyes on it. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. We'll see you next time, guys. Hope you have a great day. Take care.